It happens all the time. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? You read an amazing book, but then when you try to have a conversation about the book with someone, you can't seem to remember anything about it. Say what one more goddamn time! <laughs> or, maybe you've spent hours studying for an exam, only to find your mind goes totally empty the second you sit down to take the test. The truth is, forgetting what you read or studied isn't a personal flaw. The real issue is how you're approaching it. Your reading and studying methods are what's holding you back. So if you want to stop forgetting everything you read, then here are six easy techniques to help you remember everything you read. And honestly, the last technique by itself will help you remember 80% of everything you read. Yes, one, the game of attention. Have you ever heard of Nelson Dellis? If you've never heard of him, Nelson Dellis is an absolute legend in the memory competitor world. He's memorized 339 digits in five minutes. He's memorized an entire deck of cards in less than 30 seconds. He's even won the USA Memory Championship a bunch of times. So how did he do it? According to Nelson, it starts with the obvious. Pay attention. Makes sense. I mean, how else are you supposed to remember something you read if you aren't even paying attention to it in the first place? Unfortunately, paying attention is a skill many of us struggle with. Luckily, there are two tricks you can use to set your mind up so that you're more likely to pay attention while you read. One, get rid of any distractions when you read. Put your phone in your pocket, close your laptop, and listen to lyricless music. Don't try to pay attention half-assed. This means not singing along to music while you're reading and not checking your phone every two minutes. Commit to paying attention to whatever it is you're reading. It's not that hard. 2. While you're reading, constantly ask yourself the following question. How can I use this in my life? Asking yourself this question will help keep you focused on looking for those important lines in a book that are going to stick with you long term. And when you're studying for an exam, the question changes. Ask yourself, how could this be asked on the exam? This mindset helps you think like the examiner, focusing on key points that are likely to appear in the test and preparing you to tackle those questions with confidence. Nine times out of ten, you'll find that these two tips will do the trick. 2. Pretend you're watching a movie. Have you ever read an amazing book, but then afterwards, couldn't remember anything about it? If so, then here's what you should do the next time you're reading. As you read, pretend you're watching a movie. Essentially, try to visualize what's happening in your mind. Obviously, you can't visualize everything you're reading, but you can envision the general idea of what's being said. Personally, when I'm reading a book, I like to imagine what I'm reading is being played out on a big movie theater screen, and I'm in the audience sitting down just watching it all happen. Why does this help? Because it turns out that our brains are far better equipped to remember certain types of information better than others. So whatever it is you're reading, try to visualize it as if it were an actual memory of your own. 3. Write like Beethoven. As humans, we're terrible at retaining information. Goddamn poetry writing. We forget almost all of the things we read about. However, when we write things down, we're far more likely to retain it. This is exactly what Beethoven used to do when he composed music. In the book Managing Oneself, Peter Drucker says, Beethoven left behind an enormous number of sketchbooks, yet he said he never actually looked at them when he composed. Asked why he kept them, he is reported to have replied, If I don't write it down immediately, I forget it right away. If I put it into a sketchbook, I never forget it, and I never have to look it up again. According to multiple studies, when you handwrite your notes, you retain more information. Why? Because when you handwrite notes, you're not going to write down every single word you read. Instead, you're going to write down only the necessary words. This helps you differentiate between what's important from what's not important. This helps you synthesize the information better. This is why, whenever I learn about an interesting idea, I write it down immediately. I write it down so that I can better understand, internalize, and remember it better. Even if you don't ever reread what it is you wrote down, the simple act of writing it down will increase your ability to retain information better. 4. Don't pick up that highlighter. You've probably heard this advice before. Highlight or underline key passages in a book to remember the important parts. Seems like a solid approach, right? Well, here's the truth. Don't highlight. Don't underline. Like, that. I think that that's just rubbish. I think it's pseudo work. Read a couple of paragraphs or maybe an essay. Something like that, depending on the density of the book. Close the book. Think about it. 
write down what you're thinking, write down what you remember in the context of what you're thinking about, because that instantiates it into your memory and give and puts it at half. This process is called active recall, and it's a game changer for your memory. Five, the learning pyramid. Unfortunately, when it comes to learning, people just keep on filling their bucket and never think about the leaks. Because of this, almost everybody wastes 90% of their learning simply because they don't understand what's known as the learning pyramid. Essentially, the learning pyramid says that you'll retain 90% of the information you read about if you simply decide to teach it to someone else. Why? Because similarly to handwriting notes, you find interesting. When you try to teach something you've read, you're not going to be using the author's words verbatim. Instead, you're going to be using your own words. This forces your brain to learn the information better. So the next time you come across an interesting idea while reading, make an effort to share it with someone else. Explain the material to someone, or even to yourself, as if you're teaching it. This will reinforce the key points and help you remember them for the exam. Remember, a concept is never fully learned through reading alone. Reading has only a 10% retention rate, which is terrible. That's why it's crucial to talk about what you've read or studied in order to truly retain the information. 6. The Forgetting Curve There are some people who can read a book once and retain every single piece of information in that book perfectly. But for 99% of us, the majority of information we read in a book will be easily forgotten. This is what's known as the forgetting curve, which states, we forget almost every newly acquired piece of information within the first 24 hours. Exactly how much you forget in the first 24 hours is different for each person. But here's the thing. Unless you review the information you just learned, much of it will slip out of your brain after the first day with more slipping out in the days after, leaving you with just a fraction of what you originally learned. This is interesting because when we read a book, we feel like we're retaining what we're reading. The information is flowing in, we're understanding it, and it's all piecing together. But it actually doesn't stick in our heads unless we review what we actually read. Unfortunately, there's no way around this. You have to review. But what type of review should you be doing? It's called spaced repetition review. Essentially, you review what you've learned at regular intervals after you learn something. There are many strategies you can use to do this, but the one strategy that I recommend you use is what's known as the rule of five. The rule of five says that after you learn something you want to remember long term, you should ideally review the piece of information you're trying to memorize at the following intervals, five times the first day, once a day for five days, once a week for five weeks. Then after that, you're good to go. Remember, information only gets reinforced into your long-term memory by reviewing it. Want to stay ahead? Hit subscribe on the right and check out the latest must-watch video on the left. Don't miss out. Your growth is just one click away.